What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Hope you've been enjoying the World Cup. It's been the World Cup of the underdog so far. It's been a couple of... There's been a couple of crazy results, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. I enjoyed Germany and Spain yesterday as well as the Morocco match. We watched as much as we could. But yeah, we are back today because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this. And yeah, it's... Uh, it's Full details, look, full details will be available, obviously, when this event actually starts but yeah it seems to be a new cup is coming to eFootball so I want to give you my thoughts on this as well as covering all the details in case you guys are not on Twitter or if uh, if you're at work or whatever and I, I just wanted to give my thoughts on it and just break it down for you really as to what it is right so firstly they did tweet out about this last night where they talked that they would be announcing this Bruno Fernandes cup a brand new eFootball competition and then they followed that up today with a tweet uh, just about half an hour ago, 30 minutes ago, where they talk about the Bruno Fernandes Cup is a, a, a cup competition to compete as one of six national teams for the chance to earn a special Bruno card and win a prize bundle, including tickets to Manchester. So you see the little graphic there. They also say uh, with an image that accompanies the text, they talk about this Bruno card. It's a 94 maxed out AMF. Looks like a fairly beastly card. And they talk about two authentic match events will be going live in eFootball 2023, where players have the chance to qualify for the next round of the Bruno Cup. Clear challenge one to earn a special Bruno card and beat all three challenges for the chance to become a national finalist. So it seems to be that there's going to be two matches. They're going to be in the authentic match tab. So it's not going to be using your dream team. It's not going to be using all your superstar squad or your dream team squad or anything like that. It is going to be in authentic match. Um, which is obviously going to be using one of the six uh, national teams that are on offer here. And it says, at the end of each authentic match event, a national finalist will be selected for each of the six participating nations. So there's going to be two events. There's going to be a finalist from each event. So event one, there's going to be six finalists. Event two, there's going to be six finalists. That's 12 in total. Those 12 national finalists will then compete in an online event, a specific dedicated online event. And a nation's national champion will be crowned uh, from that. So there's going to be event winners, two events. The winners of those events will go through. There'll be one from each region. And then both of those winners will play each other. So there'll be two from the UK, one from event one, one from event two, two from France, one from event one, one from, two, one from event two, and so on for Italy, Spain, Germany, and Turkey. The two of those will play each other. And then the winner of that will move on to be the actual champion, the national team champion. So the six na national champions will then be invited to an exclusive event next year where they will, fa where they will face off uh, to be crowned the Bruno champion. So next year, obviously, this will continue on. Uh, the winner will receive our Bruno Fernandes trophy in addition to their prize bundle. So... Yeah, it's obviously going to go from being online to offline then. So that's why there probably is the restriction on those six nations. So obviously, yeah, I will give you my thoughts on it in a sec. This event is open to residents in UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain and Turkey. The same as up here, as you can see the flags. So they're the teams that you're going to be playing as. So if you want to try and represent Turkey and you're Turkish, you will be playing as Turkey. You'll probably have to play as the region. I mean, based on this, without any other information, because the event isn't on yet, it obviously means that if you're living in the UK, you have to pick, you know, you have to pick the team in the UK. Or if you're living in France, you have to pick France. And then you obviously participate as France, being French. And if you win that, you go into the online tournament. And if you are the online event, the specific online event against the other national champion. And then if you win that, you then represent France. So that's kind of what it reads like to me there. They also talk about the, they have unlisted, enlisted the help of six content creators in the Bruno Cup. Find out more tomorrow. And it says that it starts Thursday the 1st of December for PC and console users in the UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain and Turkey. So... Yeah, look, at, right, here's my thoughts on it, right? I think I like the idea of what they're trying to do with the events. I've liked the match pass, that there's rewards in the match pass that are worth actually going for, like the Bale card, um, the Tadic card. I like that you get three star, four star and five star scouts um, or nominating contracts that you can do. I do like what they're trying to do, but I just feel like there's a couple of things here that I don't, you know, I don't really like either. I mean, firstly, you can't play as Portugal. There is a lot of nations missing from this. Now, that's obviously because there is going to be an exclusive event next year. They say it right here, an exclusive event next year. Um, so this isn't just online, so to speak. This isn't just like, you know, 12 players play online. Whoever wins that tournament then wins it out, that they're just running it off completely online. 
they're probably going to make this a big kind of event uh, next year, maybe, you know, sometime around February, March. Uh, and I would say that they'll probably do this with like maybe another... Um, I reckon the reason why it's only these six nations at the moment, this is just my opinion. I reckon that they will have another tournament with different players on, um, you know, different regions on, you know, or maybe they'll trial this and if it goes well, then they'll do one in South America or they'll do one in North America or they'll do another one in Europe that will, you know, have teams uh, that are, you know, different teams in it or they might do one in Japan. Uh, that's just my opinion on it. I think why they've chosen these six teams because it kind of limits, you know, who's going to enter. It gives you a good sample size of how the tournament is going to go. It gives you a good sample size of who's playing it. Now, what it doesn't really answer here is whether, you know, me or somebody from Portugal or somebody from Brazil or somebody from Argentina or, you know, wherever, somebody, uh, somebody from Serbia, can they actually or can we actually go in tomorrow and play in the event or Thursday, play in the authentic match event and you know get the actual bruno card because if we can't that's going to be a bit of a, a bit of an annoyance um we should be able to get to the stage where we get the card you know that we're able to actually do the card i think the way that they've worded it here clear challenge one to earn a bruno card i think that'll probably be open to everybody regardless of region i could be wrong so apologies if i am but I reckon that they will give this challenge to everybody, that it'll be free. And then that these two further challenges of the three will be locked out. That it'll be for the national finalists. So it'll be for any of these participating nations. So look, I do like what they're doing. I just think that when you are excluding, you know, anybody, whether it's for marketing reasons, whether it's for, you know, future plans, down the line reasons, uh, I do think you have to be very kind of like, careful in how you approach it because obviously you know you go into the responses of any of these and i know i'm going to get a ton of questions it's like the weekend league trying to explain to people who can and can't play it um like it is a cool event but like it's not open to everybody from the reading of this so it is kind of a tricky one uh, to navigate unless they have future plans where they're going to include even more nations and more teams and more chances of going forward so yeah, let me know what you, you guys think. Um, we'll be back today. I'm going to have a video up on a couple of other bits and pieces as well as the, the reviews and stuff as, as, uh, as usual. So let me know what the crack is, lads. I will talk to you later. We'll have more details on the 1st of December, as you see there. And it is for PC and console. So this is not for mobile either. So that's the second bit of news there. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will be talking to you guys quite soon. Peace.